Hey everybody, this is Nadine O and it is day 15 and I am here to first thank all of my supporters who have been uh, leaving comments and support about my journey after having a vitrectomy. So I wanted to at least list six people that I wanted to say personally thank you for your support. It means a lot because I've been really um, laying myself raw out there um, with everything that is going on. Um, I wanted to be as authentic as I could be. And I hope that this is helpful for other people. So first of all, Golden Lock Goddess, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Q Sound, thank you, man. Thank you, Ricky, for your support. Mary H, also known as at Mare Jen Mary Marianne Cat 66. Um, the Mercurial Mermaid, thank you. I love you. Uh, Karen Smith Drums. I also interviewed her on my show and she's just been so supportive of my journey as well as I have been with hers. Something About Food podcast, also one of my guests on my podcast. The bio, if you go to the bio, you can find the link and check out some of those featured guests. But Chris Clark, thank you. I really, really appreciate the support. And t -Vot. Eight, you know who you are. I love you, man. Be safe. So, um, as mentioned, I wanted to get right into what brought me to where I am today. In 2019, I started to notice some changes that were happening in my eyesight. At first, I thought it was either one of two things. I needed to adjust my readers because I'm over 50, or I was having... Um, Infections in my eye due to uh, pollen season allergies, which is something that was continuously occurring. And wearing contact lenses doesn't make it easier, but you, you just have to keep up with it and make adjustments. In 2020, something weird started to happen. I, I, I was looking at, I would look at a letter, excuse me, I would look at a letter and it would look one way. And then when I look at it again, it would look different. And what was happening was my right eye was, was um, processing the information differently. And it was only one letter, one character. But over time, it increased. So from January to March, I was starting to see a significant change. So then it became two letters. And then after a while, it became a grid. Now, being who I am and my experience being in the news business, the first thing I did was Google search, um, visual distortions, and to find out if there was anything that was being reported or questions that were being asked about certain symptoms that was similar to mine. And what I found out was that there was something similar. It was macular degeneration. So I then called and set up an appointment for an ophthalmologist. Now, um, once I set that appointment up, I went in. Now, the irony of all of this was that it was be the beginning of the surge of the COVID-19 pandemic. We weren't officially, I believe, at stay at home, but we were about to go to that stage. So when I went in, the doctor said, yes, you were right. You were very observant. This is what's going on. This is what I want you to do. I want you to pay attention. I want you to, to, to download the chart, which is the Amsler chart, um, which is a grid that you look at every day to see if there are any changes in the way you see it. Um, and for three months or thereabouts, um, hey, Google, cancel. <laughs> the 
irony of the fact that I have Google. Yeah. So what I want to say is, is that um, I started watching the chart, marking the marks, what, where the distortion was. And it began to increase over that three month period. When it was due for me to come back to see the um, specialist, they were pushing towards saying, hey, listen, you know, it's COVID-19. Unless it's an emergency or anything, you have loss of sight. We're not really seeing patients. I, somewhat, they, they were bending that way. I said, no, I need to see, I need to have more tests done because there's significant changes. And so the appointment was set. I went in, had the test done, but the doctor wasn't there. He was going to call me later. He called me later. He told me, hey, you have a macular hole, and the only thing that can fix it is a vitrectomy. So I want to set you up for that. And I said, I, okay, but I need to get a second opinion. 20 years ago, I wouldn't have said that. Today, I need that. And I am so happy that I stood up for myself. And the reason I'm saying this right now is it is so important to be your own advocate for your health, for anything that's going on in your life. You just have to press through and speak up for yourself. And that's what I did. And through time and pushing and pushing and pushing because it was very difficult because of COVID-19, physicians, uh, specialists weren't seeing new patients. So I had to really press and, you know, at my wits end to try to get in to see the specialist uh, that was recommended. I did. Um, and he took on my case or what was going on. And I chose to have him as my specialist. Um, I chose him because he was highly recommended, um, number one. And number two is... My journey began at Wells Eye when I was 18 months old and my mother said, something's not right. And they took me to the hospital and they, they diagnosed that I was nearsighted and I needed glasses and they gave me glasses at 18 months old. Her main concern was she's going to lose the glasses. Well, no, I didn't lose the glasses because that was the window to the world. Um, and henceforth now at 50 some years old, I'm back at Will's Eye having this surgery. And so that is pretty much the story of my return to Will's Eye. There's more entailed into it, but we're already eight minutes, minutes in. So I respect your time. I thank you for your support. I will be coming back with more information and um, mostly I just want to say is, is that if your body is speaking and saying something is not right, listen, speak up, do the research, ask other people questions, reach out and talk to other people. Don't be afraid. Maybe you don't have all of the knowledge that can take you to the next level, but they may be able to. So don't be afraid. So in closing, I want to wish you love and light and most of all, joy. Take care.